Today we'll be reviewing some of you guys' airports again. I still have this long list of airports to review. In this video we'll come to this green part, so all these unmarked airports still have to be reviewed. If your airport has not been reviewed yet, but it was marked green in the sheet, please stick to the end because I will give three reasons why your airport might not have been reviewed. Let's go to airport number one. The first airport that we will be looking at is Adelaide Model Airport. It is loosely based on the creator's home airport, Adelaide International Airport, and it has got some inspiration from other airports in Australia as well. This airport that you see now was actually an expansion of the Sydney airport he had, but now he has got rid of Sydney airport and kept this expansion. The airport is, I think, fully made out of paper. The ground textures, I think, he has printed and he has very nicely folded the jetways, just like the terminal. My first tip would be, judging from these pictures, to add some ground service equipment. You already have some, as I see a stair right here, but consider adding some fuel trucks, baggage carts and pushback trucks, for example. You can also consider connecting these roads here on the left and maybe continuing this road all the way down the airport as they now kind of end into the nothing. But Adelaide Airport, thank you for sending yours in. Up next we have a recreation of Ankara Airport in Turkey and it is fully made out of cardboard. We can see a few terminals and jet bridges over here. And even though I can see you put in some work already, I think there is a lot to perfect. Try coloring the cardboard into a gray tint so it looks like asphalt or concrete and then add ground markings like taxiway lines and gate signs. The gray tint on the left here is a great example. Also for you the tip to use some ground surface equipment. I really like the LED strip. I th see you have a lot of LED strip remaining. So I hope you use your creativity to use the complete LED strip and light up your airport at night. And I'm really curious to see how this airport is going to look like when it is completely finished. The next airport is Maggiotto Miami International Airport, an airport based off of Miami International Airport. The first thing I notice here is that it's placed inside of a shelf and I think you used your space that you had very efficiently. You could try to add a bit more airport here on the right, but I am not too sure whether that is actually going to fit more models. I like the background that you used here of Miami, of course, and I think your airport looks very neat. Some things that you could consider adding are the taxiway outlines. I am not sure, but here I see some black, which seems like a taxiway outline already. Try adding it to the whole of your model airport. Also, some more ground markings, like at the gates. Add a sign of which gate it is, like A4 or C9. You say that you're planning on adding ground crew and model lampposts, which I am sure are going to make your airport look better and more realistic. But I already believe your airport looks great and I'm sure when you add all those elements in the future your airport is going to look incredible. Thanks for sending me. The next airport is Domar International Airport. It seems like a lovely airport to me which already has a lot of ground markings, a great terminal and a great variety of aircraft models on it. I love how you explain that the terminal is made out of vodka cases and the jet bridges are small wires. I'm sure you were very drunk after you created this airport as it took nine whole vodka bottles. I'm really impressed by the quality of the airport after that. Also, the windows of the airport are glass mosaic, which is a really realistic way of creating glass. As you can see here, it mirrors the aircraft. Something you can consider adding is modeling grass to your airport. I am sure it's gonna look much better and much more realistic than this green paint. Also, an air traffic control tower somewhere on the terminal might fit good. And for the rest, I am really impressed by your airport and your terminal. Welcome to this unnamed airport, which is a Gemini Jets terminal with some really colorful aircraft models. 
you really have a great collection of aircraft models but i think your airport lacks quite a few things the whole ground markings are missing including taxiway lines and you don't have any ground service equipment on your airport either i believe when you add those elements your airport is going to look fantastic as you already have a great terminal and some very nice models in your collection next up is san gabriel valley airport located in arcadia in california it's a wooden plank with ground markings a very lovely terminal using a iphone box and some other old boxes you really have a lot of different american domestic airlines i think when you paint your wooden plank gray your airport will be looking much better of course you will have to redo all the ground markings then but i am sure it is worth it also for you add some modeling grass you won't regret it and a little bit more ground surface equipment will also make your airport look more realistic san gabriel valley airport thanks for sending yours up next we have hong kong international airport and this is a purchased plate which really looks fantastic though it doesn't fit as many models and you have a really nice terminal and air traffic control tower with a lot of detail you say you want to expand this airport and i am sure when you expand it and use the modeling grass all the detailed markings and put some more ground surface equipment on it you will really have a great model airport next up we've got athens international airport a fictional airport in athens greece where everything is handmade including the terminal and all the jet bridges the ground markings on your airport look very neat like these runway numbers over here and i like the amount of detail as you even have a fuel spot here in the ground something to point out is that these ground vehicles like the pushback truck and baggage vehicles are all handmade and i think they look very neat there is still a section to add to this airport as this is completely empty so i'm very curious to see how this terminal is going to look look like but i'm sure it's gonna look awesome next up we have got bregens airport located in austria and you didn't supply a picture of your whole airport as an overview but you seem to have a really nice collection of aircraft and i can't see it very clearly but over here there seems to be a hill in the modeling grass here you have quite a big area of modeling grass where there is no airport and instead of just a big square of modeling grass you created a hill which i think is very creative i can't say much about the rest of your airport as you didn't supply enough pictures but your model aircraft collection is really diverse and awesome looking. the next airport is nsn international airport and this airport has been worked on for years which is really clearly visible as all the details look lovely it seems to be a home base for vietnam airlines and the amount of detail is just stunning from the handmade terminal to the jet bridges to all the ground surface equipment and the ground markings this airport looks so complete to me i think the ground surface equipment is also handmade out of paper and what i really like is how you have added the airline logos to the baggage carts over here from jetstar and vietnam airlines you also have lights installed on your airport and these i think handmade light poles also have led lights so i'm very curious to see how your airport looks at night but unfortunately you didn't add a picture of it welcome to james m cox dayton international airport a recreation of dayton international airport in the late 1980s it is a self-built airport and it lacks some ground markings and they will be added in the future but for now he has already got a terminal and some ground service equipment he's got a great collection of historic aircraft you have quite a big part of grass and you could consider adding a runway over here which goes down diagonally and then it runs all the way to the edge of the airport as the modeling grass part seems quite big to me so that's dayton international airport thank you for sending your historic airport next up we are at john f kennedy international airport in new york here we have a recreation of the airport using airport mats 
and he used Legos and wood for the terminal and its jet bridges. The first thing I noticed is that there isn't any more ground service equipment, which you could consider adding. And we've seen in other videos that you can also use Legos to create ground service equipment. Now you have a great and diverse collection of aircraft models. And I think with some GSC, it's gonna look incredible. And this user has also sent in his Frankfurt International Airport because he has two different airports. He used the Gemini Jets Terminal and another airport met again. I really like this Emirates A380 in this special be part of the magic colors with the double jet bridge to it. And also for your Frankfurt Airport, when you add some ground service equipment, trust me, it's going to look awesome. And the final airport we'll be looking at in this episode is Utrecht International Airport located in Utrecht in the Netherlands. This airport is 1 to 200 scale and therefore the ground service equipment is really really detailed. Over here you have a car on the cargo loader and actual airport workers. That's one big plus about 1 to 200 scale. Here you also have a bus with passengers boarding the Aer Lingus A330. And what I would like to point out about the airport is the tire marks. They have been really nicely done. I think he used charcoal for the creation of the marks. What you could consider adding are gate numbers here in the yellow boxes. And for the rest I really don't have a lot to say about your airport other than that it looks great. I really love the tire marks and all the ground service equipment. And that is it for this video. I would like to thank every single airport that I have discussed in this video for registering it. I have really enjoyed looking at all your airports and reviewing them. A quick note for people wondering where their airport is because I haven't reviewed it yet. I've received over 15 airport registrations with either bad quality pictures like these. I can't review this. First of all, your picture needs to be in landscape mode like this so it fills the whole screen and your image is very blurry. Also, some of you guys sent in airports that are unfinished like this one. That means I cannot say much about it because you haven't finished your airport yet. So please only send in your airport when it is finished. And the last reason why some airports might not have been reviewed is because you supplied not enough pictures because with only two pictures I cannot get a full overview of your airport so I am not able to rate it then. So please consider that I would like to thank you for watching to this video all the way to the end. Please consider to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video.